rushing a Rottweiler to the vet, that Tia named Sam Hain. We don't really know to what extent she's hurting, but you can tell she haven't been eating. She could have hogworms. You know, a lot of things could be going on with this dog. Come on. Because you could tell she done been on the street for a little while. How you doing? I do think me and her kind of formed a little bond real quick because, you know, they do know when you're trying to help. Just looking at this dog and she looking at me, she just knew I was there for her. It never fails, bro. When we get them like this, I'll beat up this Watch when she get healthy, watch she gonna be bad as We've been dealing with Cypress Lake for a long time and we have brought some bad cases through there and they always managed to help us get these dogs back right. Yeah, she, she real weak. Um, she drunk down there a whole bucket of water. Um, really think she kind of dehydrated, but they found her just like this laying on the side of the road. Sam Hayman was very weak when she presented. Very skinny, so malnourished, very dehydrated on top of it. You can tell she's just been neglected for quite a while. We wiped her eyes. It was real crusty. Her eyes. Mm -hmm. Being that she was an older dog, that brings a lot of diseases to mind, cancer being one, and then dogs coming off the street, a lot of them have heartworm disease. No telling how long she had been without food and water, so that brings on more issues on top of it. If she was hit by a car, you know, any internal injuries, as well as fractures, things like that. With her being this week, we definitely need to get some blood on her and run some fluids through her for sure. And that'll give us a little bit more information about what's going on internally. We don't exactly know what happened to her, so we will have to run a heart room test, um, a CBC and chemistry panel, so it tells us about her organ functions and her blood cells. X-rays will also give us some idea if she has anything else going on internally. We don't know if someone neglected her or just left her, you know, to fend for herself. And being that she's such a sweet dog, um, definitely doesn't deserve that kind of treatment. So we got to wait on her. We're definitely gonna keep her. What I'm hoping for the vet to do is to find out if she got anything going on and see what we could do to get her back healthy. All right, we'll get her fixed up. They're gonna keep her overnight, and hopefully we'll hit something by morning. They're gonna be one of my new girls right yeah. there, you know what I'm saying? I'm, up. I'm eager to show her like it's always a second chance to be loved. This girl is gonna be my personal project. <laughs>